Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to part uh, three of my videos. Now in this video I'm going to show you the results of benchmarks. Now in this particular video I'm going to be showing you just synthetic benchmarks, so Unigine Heaven, 3D Mark and a couple of others. I'm not going to test any games simply because um, games are really relative. Some of you guys might have these games, some of you might not. Some of these games might not be beneficial to you at all. So basically I'm going to use the software that all of you guys can get. It's free to use and free to benchmark and that way you can compare the systems. So let's get started. So to start off I will show you the system itself. So I was using Windows 7 Professional 64-bit, Service Park 1 and all the updates installed. And I have a GeForce GTX 760. You can see the unboxing and the installation video are here. And the video driver used of the GTX 760 is the latest to date, which is 20th of um, July, and it's a 320.49 driver. So that's that. Now, the resolution at the moment is set to 720p just simply for the display purposes, but everything was done on the 1080p resolution on the screen. So, next. Some details here about the CPU. So I'm using Intel i5 3570K CPU, clocked at the base uh, frequency, so I didn't overclock it or anything like that. In terms of motherboard, I'm using ASUS Maximus 5 Gene motherboard with the latest BIOS. Um, so the BIOS actually would have to be updated. I haven't checked the BIOS for a couple months, but I didn't have any issues. Um, in terms of memory, I have uh, four sticks of four gigabytes each of G-Skill memory, and here's the part number of the memory. As you see, all slots are occupied. Now, um, graphics, I already spoke about that. So, let's get on with the results. Um, I've done... A I suppose I did a Cinebench because I I always did it and um, the version I'm using once again is 11.5 and it's 64 bit. This is more to show you guys the CPU results so you can compare to your system and the CPU I got is 6.17 points and OpenGL is 52.36 points. So that's Cinebench. Um, next I was going with performance test 8.0 and basically just click the run benchmark uh, resolution was obviously 1080p and the benchmark ran and the result was as follows now I ran the result twice and the difference is maybe 0.5 percent tops so here's the rating overall I got 4369 CPU I got 7598 2d 864 3D 5594, memory was 2667, and disk was 3651. As I said, I ran it twice, as most of the tests, uh, sorry, all the tests I actually ran twice, and this is the result for this particular one. Next, I ran Unigine Heaven, and the results are as follows. So basically everything high, extreme, and whatnot, and it's 1080p. And the first time I got 31.8 FPS and the second time was exactly the same. Minimum and maximum FPS were different, but other than that, everything is the same. Next, um, I run the 3D Mark 11 and basically since it's just a trial version, I can't select anything but the performance, which is 720p. I select the benchmark tests only and I run the 3D Mark. And the result was um, P score was 8357, and second time was 8432. Next, I went with the 3D Mark um, Basic Edition, the latest 3D Mark, and I just went to the test and run all tests, so including the demo and everything. And the results first time was 155,382 and the second time was 154,303. So a little bit of deviation, but that's about it. Now, for those of you guys who are using Adobe Premiere um, CS6, 
Um, these are the results for the disk. I got 280 seconds with 132 megabytes a second. Time to encode H.264 was 359 seconds and the MP gain was 28.2. Now 359 seconds for H.264, I think that was a CPU only. But anyway, this is the result. Um, I'm gonna throw a link there how to perform this type of benchmark and you can do it yourself to compare. Um, so that's the results guys. I, I didn't want to bother you with the actual screens of the benchmarks and things like that. Um, I showed you how I performed the test and the results and you can basically try to replicate on your machine and see if you can get a higher or lower scores. Now in terms of noise, I can't really say much because I don't have any device to measure the noise. It was okay in most benchmarks and some benchmarks like um, Formark, it was quite noisy but not unbearable i had a gtx 660 before with the stock cooler and it definitely wasn't uh, quieter than this with the three fans so they performing okay now wattage wise i took wattage of the system before i put the gpu and after so the blue lines here you can see the cpu idle under load and four marks so basically maxed out now with the CPU only, my PC case without any monitors, anything, any peripherals, um, scored around uh, 50. I, I actually got 54 watts, and on um, load, I got 96 watts in 4 mark in, and in 3D marks and things like that. So, as you see, quite um, efficient CPU. Now, once I put in GPU into the system and the drivers were installed, I started with 69 watts, as you see there. The moment I started running benchmarks, I got 263 watts. So not a power hog, but it is a hungry GPU. Um, after all, it is same GPU as uh, 670 more or less. And when I actually went with the four mark, I got 316 watts um, from the socket. So that's the wattage for you guys so yeah that's it basically that's that that pretty much sums it up now guys um if you're interested for me to do some game benchmarks you can put them in the comment section down below once i get some of you interested i might do these benchmarks of these games i don't have too many games but i have a couple of latest games and hopefully i'll have what you want me to benchmark and i might do it in a week or so so yeah, for the moment, that's it. If you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe. Any comments or questions, please write them down in the comment section down below. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.